Hey, this is Eric, and um, this is my first day of vlog. I'll just call it a day vlog. It's basically a vlog basing up my whole day. Yeah, so today's been kind of a lazy day for me. Like, I was just too tired to do anything, and um, my YouTube account got disabled. My personal account. I would be posting that on... Whoops, I hit my camera on something. So yeah, I, I would be posting this to my other channel, my personal channel, with stuff that is not horror movie reviews. But this is just despicable. I cannot believe they disabled my account. So I'm posting this, posting from now on to one channel, one channel only. Okay, so I'm going to be doing these whenever I'm, whenever I feel like I just, well, only on days that are like big days, like when I'm doing a lot. And if I can bring the camera, I will. But I'm just getting it all, getting the series started up with this, with the lazy day. Uh, yeah, this is my iPad. Um, a lot has happened since the first season of Eric LeBaire Horror Movie Reviews ended. So, yeah, I got an iPad. I got a new camera. Um, and school got out, of course. That was, I did that on the last day of school, in fact, and, um, so, yeah, and I was doing a series on this, a seven-part mini-series, based on the Apple iPad, and what I like about it, and what I can do with, and based on anything that I can think of about it, but then, my YouTube channel, my personal channel, where I was posting these, posting this mini-series up, episode by episode, got... Got like locked and disabled. It's just stupid. I don't know if I'll ever get it back. And if I don't, I'll absolutely suck. All right? Cause I posted up like fourteen video, fifteen videos to that channel, and so far I have twenty on Eric Lebert Horror, which is one nine four Smurf, which is the username of the YouTube channel Eric Lebert Horror. Yeah, it just gave me a little tongue twister. So, I don't know if I should post those videos onto YouTube. Or if I should just leave them off because I don't want to avoid any copyright problems. So, I think that's what may have happened last time. And that really sucks. Yeah, I'm excited for Predators to come out. It's coming out on my birthday, July 9th, so... Eric Lever Horror Movie Reviews will be making a brief return. It'll be between July 9th and July 20th. Well, I'm not gonna be here. Like, where? I'm not gonna be in the area July 20th, or July 9th. I'm gonna be up north in Cross Village, Michigan. Very up north in Cross Village, Michigan. We're gonna be going to Bliss Fest, which is pretty big music festival in Michigan, and, um, we're gonna go to Mackinac City. Last year we went there, it was absolutely fun. No, I think it was a, two years ago we went there, and it was really, really fun. Loved it there. There was a ton to do there, and, of course, if you're gonna go to Mackinac City, or Mackinac, I, well, if you're gonna go to Mackinac City, or Cross Village, you gotta go to Mackinac Island. At least for a day, because Mackinac Island is absolutely amazing. It is Michigan's main source of tourists, and it has a ton of history behind it. I've been there quite a bit. I've been there like five times, maybe. Some and whenever my mom takes us to Mackinac Island, we kind of get carried away. And when we get back to Mackinac City, we'll just go on the Mackinac Bridge. And go to the Upper Peninsula and just look at some stuff. Like, um, a few years ago we went to the, the Mystery Spot and the Mich Weird Michigan Wax Museum. For those of you who haven't heard of Weird Michigan, it's basically a book with a bunch of Michigan legends. Just a bunch of fun mess. Cre recreated in wax sculptures in a creepy museum. It doesn't even look like a museum. It's, it looks like a building. Just a normal building, but in the back is actually a very cool wax museum. And I have some pictures, but I don't know where they are right now. I'll try and look up. 
try to like get try to get them and maybe post put it, make compose a slideshow maybe and put it on here. I don't know. And the mystery spot is very special. It is like magical, literally. And just just Google Michigan mystery spot and you'll get all you need to know about it. It's amazing. And you have to experience it for yourself to know how amazing it is. It is like completely reversed. Like gravity almost doesn't apply at the mystery spot. Those are some very good places in Michigan for tourism. Uh, this is the dog Honda. Don't 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 diss the name. We got we got him from an animal rescue group. So he was saved. See, like usually when you scratch a dog's butt or a lower back. If they were standing, it would be their lower back. If you scratch it out or rub it, they'll like do this wiggly dance with their legs. But this dog just rolls around on the ground and makes gnarly noises. Like, listen, we'll just make, we'll just do this. Like, woo! He's got gnarly teeth. Good boy. Imagine if he didn't get fixed. He'd probably be biting people's heads off. I was trying to get the cookie jar, but I ran, I ate all the cookies. Or cookie box. All those frosted cookies with the sprinkles on them. Those are so awesome. They're the best cookies ever. And it, it's just, a, they're most amazing cookies. Honda, come here. Honda, you stupid dog. I didn't see that, but I know what happened. My iPad falling down scared him. I knew you are ridiculous. Okay, um, since my YouTube account, my personal channel, was disabled, I'm going to be reposting all those movie reviews I did, and this, the movie based on my movie collection, uh, there, and the Ten Commandments skits, the nine Ten Commandments skits, nine skits, Ten Commandments, you'll get it, alright, nine, number nine and ten are combined into one. And I'm also going to have to approve comments because of haters. Like, some guy commented on my review of Scarface, which was on my other channel, until YouTube took it off. One, one thing that he did. So all the material that I made, hours of stuff, poof, gone. So, I was pissed about that, and so, I'm going to be reposting all my reviews, no, the first review that I'm going to be reposting is on Heavy Metal from 1981, it's a huge cult classic, one of my all-time favorite movies, it, there's a cult following, and I'm part of that cult following of the movie, so I'm going to be reposting most of the material. And sadly, my iPad miniseries, which was supposed to be seven episodes, it only got to four episodes. And then YouTube took down the channel, which really sucks. I most li I'm not going to be posting those the iPad miniseries anymore. It's done. It, it prematurely ended, and I contacted YouTube and Google, asking me asking to fill me in on what happened. And I still have not been reply. Still haven't received a reply from them. In fact, I bet they never reply to anybody's complaints, even if they give you a box. Hey, contact us here if you're having problems. See what we can do about it. And you don't get jack of a response. So, yeah, I'm gonna be. Yeah, as I said before, I'm reposting a ton of videos. I also did a vlog series, but I'm restarting that vlogs. I already restarted that vlog series. The video is simply titled Eric LeBear Vlog Number One. Well, Eric LeBear Colon Vlog Number One. I'll have a link for that video in the bottom. I'll also have links from my two websites, Eric LeBear Horror at webs.com and Eric LeBear at webs.com. That's a personal website. Eric LeBear Horror is for my movie reviews. So, thank you for watching this day vlog. I really need to think of a better name because I can't think. I already do a vlog series, which is just mini vlogs that last about five minutes each, going over my day. I do them whenever I can or whenever I feel like I should do it. So, thank you for watching this day vlog. 
have a nice day or night or whatever time you're watching this. See ya.